Welcome back to KMOT First News at 10. I'm John Jacklin. With Mother Nature cooperating, the track and field season shifts outdoors. One of the top moments from the indoor season was Minot State freshman Bailey Ride winning the 600-meter race at the NSIC Championships. Back in February, Ride shocked the conference and herself by running away with the 600-meter title in Mankato, Minnesota. I recently caught up with Ride to not only recap the race, but to find out why the 600 ended up being the perfect fit as an indoor event. I've always been like stronger at like sprinting say like rather than like the distance part so when I found out there was a 600 my coaches were like oh that'd be a good fit and it, it was. Ride a freshman from Columbia Falls Montana entered the 600 meter final with the ideal strategy given her racing style. I'm kind of like the type of runner where I can't go out too fast or else I'll die out so I sat on the like top group for the first two laps, two and a half, and then I was like, well, it's time to kick. So I just ran and tried to outkick him. Minot State cross country and track coach Steven Schultz discusses why it was so significant for the program to have a conference champion, as well as Riot's potential for not only this outdoor season, but her career as a whole. It's not every day that, that we have a conference champion. It's so tough in this conference to, to do that. She's got a great amount of natural speed. She moves really well. So the talent is definitely there. As we train and we keep doing cross country in the fall, things like that, she's really gonna drop some great 800 and maybe even some really good 1500 times years down the line. The Beavers head south to Vermilion, South Dakota for the USD early bird this Friday and Saturday to kick off the main part of the outdoor calendar. It's opening day for softball, and the Majets took care of business in the MSU Bubble Dome against Grand Forks Central, winning 16-1 and 15-3 in the doubleheader. Minot North just concluded their inaugural game as a program earlier tonight, losing to Red River 19-0. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.